The next pattern in the Making Method Call Simpler series is called Separate Query from Modifier. The motivation here is that we have a method that returns a value but also changes the state of an object. It has a side effect of some kind. So instead we'll want to create two methods, one for the query and one for the modification. For example, let's take a look at this method we're calling here. The method is called find miscreant, and not looking at the body of the method, but instead looking at where we call it, we're simply passing it a collection of people, and we get back some filtered value from that collection, a person in this case. And so when calling that method, you wouldn't expect there to be a side effect. You're just passing it something, and you're getting back whatever it observed from that something. But now looking inside the method body, we have this call to send alert which could be doing something like perhaps sending an email, which is an action that you can't undo. It is a, a, a permanent side effect. And so we want to make sure that any function or any method which has such a side effect advertises that fact much more clearly. A very clear way to advertise having a side effect or changing the state of something is to have a void return type. And we'll get to that in a bit. But the point here is that if you have a method which simply accepts something, observes something about what it accepts, maybe it filters that something or it calculates a value based on that something, and then returns what it observed with no side effects, no external dependencies, then what you have is a very valuable function because you can call it anywhere, anytime, and have no side effects at all. But if it does have side effects, such as this one, then you have to worry about that when you're calling it. So we'll begin this refactoring by creating our, our query, which has no side effects. For now, let's just call it find person. Of course, it accepts the same argument. And indeed, it duplicates the same logic, which we'll fix in a little while. Now we haven't made any breaking changes, so there's nothing to test yet. The next step is to use this new method inside of where we use where we have this logic in the, the modifier method. So we'll just change all our return statements here to use it. At this point, that's a breaking change, so that's something that we would want to, uh, well, not necessarily a breaking change, but a logical change. So that's this would be an opportune time to recompile and run all of our tests. And now, as it stands, this isn't the most efficient code, and it duplicates logic, but we'll address that in time. So now that we have these two methods, one has the side effects and one does not, Let's go ahead and change how we call these. So, first we're going to call find miscreant and pass it people. And then here we'll call find person. And so now, first we have our modifier, then we have our query, and then we continue with the result of that query. So we have an explicit difference between the two. At this point, it probably makes sense to rename these. Let's call this send miscreant notification. And then let's call this find miscreant. Now we're jumping back and forth on the names there, but that happens as the system changes over time. And now you'll notice the return type is this modifier doesn't need to return anything, so let's give it a void return type, which of course will have to no longer return anything. Again, this continues to be an opportune time to recompile and run our tests. We also know that this return statement is superfluous. And so essentially, that's it for this refactoring itself. 
although we still have this duplicated logic that we want to uh, we want to fix. And so for completeness, let's go ahead and fix that. We can just substitute the algorithm here. And instead of calling this loop, we can simply say if this This doesn't equal string.empty, send alert, and the rest of that is superfluous. Again, we'd want to run all of our tests again at this point. And yes, there are still improvements we can make here. At least we haven't duplicated the logic anymore, though it's still not the most efficient thing because we're going to loop through this collection twice in this code. Once when we send the notification, because we're calling find miscreant here. And then again, when we find the miscreant again for the later code. And so we could continue to add more refactorings to this, maybe encapsulate this logic somehow, because it's not entirely clear what it's saying here. And we also have this magic value we're passing around. We'd want to fix that. But those are all separate refactorings and not part of this pattern. And so that's pretty much it for the... Uh, separate query from modifier pattern. Thanks for watching.